everybody, welcome to my video interview in my living room with my awesome friend, psychic medium, John Holland. I'm sure you know who he is, but we are here for some very, very special reason. He just launched his brand new Oracle deck that is so awesome. Here it is right here. Psychic Tarot for the Heart. Isn't that amazing? Well, a lot of people with the success of my first deck, and you know, you and I, whether we're seeing clients or on stage or in a workshop, how many people ask about their relationships? Everybody. Absolutely. And I cr decided to create this deck, not just because for people who are lovers, but people have relationships with their friends, their children, their parents, but the most important relationship, the one with yourself. Right. So I figured a deck um, using the wisdom of the tarot, the, your intuition, signs and symbols, perfect. Oh, I love it. And I've, and I've been using it too. So um, I got that fantastic download for the iPad. Right. But I actually like how having the cards in my hands, to yes. be honest with you. So um, what I found was very, very interesting is I decided, well, I'm going to ask about a relationship to myself sure. this morning. And I was feeling slightly stressed out. And it was very clear. It spoke directly to me right. that it was time to chill out and not look at the hole in the donut yep. because it was really about me. So then once I calmed down a few hours later, I thought, geez, I'm in a really good space right now. Let me ask about my dog and it said loyalty oh <laughs> really okay good <laughs> which totally made sense excellent it's that so i tested them they are so accurate well, so accurate what i love about cards and you know this color because you got many decks too is sometimes we all get stuck in our heads totally. sometimes you need something to get you to step back with a different answer to think in a different way and that's what i love about oracle cards oh, and that's sure. why i did the relationship i even asked uh, the cards obviously, you know, why not, um, about myself being in a relationship. And the card was share the love. And it said, now is not the time for a relationship. Focus on the relationships with your friends and like-minded people. And most likely from that experience, uh, a new love could happen. So it makes sense to me. I haven't seen a lot of my friends last year and because of the traveling. So And here we are. Absolutely. So sh <laughs> sharing the love. And I just pulled a card for you okay. right now. As you were talking, oh, I thought, me. I thought, yeah. what else could we learn about John Holland's love life? <laughs> and, <laughs> and what was interesting is that as you were talking, I just asked Spirit, I said, what else should he know about this? Right. And you, you got the six and it's a blue, mm -hmm. right? So that's, that's probably the... That's six mental, the mental which is the swords. Healing begins. Right. Healing begins. So healing begins with your connections to friends and your connection exactly to your own heart, right? right? So everybody can learn from that. So that's the card. And then I said, um, again, I'll do it. I'll say, she is the show Oracle me, queen, show me something else. I am the Oracle Queen too, uh, that you know. And it's about control. Right. So this is about relinquishing control, mm -hmm. uh, right? <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> And we know our dear Johnny here, so this is very accurate too, is about letting things flow and just show up as they will. Um, and I'm going to ask you to choose one more about sure. the future. Okay. These are so good, you guys. Trust. Beautiful card. And this is the fool. So some of his, his cards are really uniquely... Um, uh, based. based on the, the actual tarot and then some other oracle sure. concepts, right? So very much like I do the same thing, we blend oracle systems together. Um, and this actually represents the fool in the tarot, so which is about taking a risk and, and look at trusting. Her. She's, she's beautiful. She is moving yes. forward and she's taken that leap of faith. Yeah, so this is, this is a really great card. Um, do you want to know anything else, John? Since these are your cards, I would love this to read for this you. This is amazing. Isn't this um, fun? Yes, you know what? Yes. Like I said, with Psychic Tarot for the Heart, it's not just about, it's not mm -hmm. just for lovers. It's about yourself, your yep. children, your parents, colleagues at work, you're having, um, you want to know them, understand better. What about the relationship with me moving? The <gasps> what relationship a great idea. of my house, or my new house, or my old house, because it's, it's time and it is going to happen this so year. So I'm going to ask you to choose three cards from your deck, okay? okay? So I'm going to show you guys how to read three cards in a row that will answer a question or give you deeper insight to the things that you can't right. know just by your own mental I love body. that she's doing this for me. I, I really, yes. really do. Okay. And it's fun. And I love Johnny. Okay, perfect. I mean, even though I came out with the deck, I want to show how easy it is yeah. to, to do this. Yeah. So, so here's what's interesting. So, um, 
Oh, this is perfect. So the first card you chose was Sadness and Isolation, and that's the Three of Swords right. originally, which it's actually the Three of, what do you call this? It's the Three, it's got a dark the Indigo blue border. border. Indigo border, mm -hmm. right? So so that means that where you are right now, and we know this, right? Saying, you know, it's it's the place, and we know how a place can affect us too. Right. The energy of that place does not bode well for relationships. Right, it was, good in, it was good in the day, but it's time. Exactly, so that's good. So you're coming from this. Typically, when you do a three card spread, you're gonna go from the past to the present to where you're evolving in the future. So the second card you picked was Reach Out. So it's going outside of your borders, right? So that's this card, it's the three of pentacles or right. the three of mm -hmm. um of coins. red of coins yes. right so but the red border here so and reaching out is to go beyond what you know right. this is also if you're going to go with a traditional tarot um it's also a card of movement acquisition um it's a it's a uh, an entrepreneur's card as right. well too so it's a really it's it's it bodes well for right. opportunity and what i love about mm -hmm. them is um, some people who are listening uh, or are watching, they may know the tarot, and you'll see how they, in, you know, how they flow with each other if you know the regular tarot. But even if you don't know anything about the tarot, yeah. it's still understandable. But the coolest thing, too, by the way, about the tarot influence is the fact that, for me personally, right. this is the architect's card. Right. Okay. Come on, oh. you're asking about moving. Right, yes, okay. <laughs> the Three of Pentacles is always the architect's card because you, you see the pictures like in the, in the, in the traditional tarot when you have like um, those pictures where they're looking at plans right. and looking at buildings, that's exactly that. Yes. That's that. And then well-deserved reward. And this is the Nine of Pentacles, yes. right? So we know that it's, um, the influence means it's tangible. So it's not a mental or an emotional thing. It's actual tangible rewards. And Beanie, would you like to be in the picture now too? Since John and I are big dog people and Beanie wants to get inside the reading too. That's okay. Isn't that cool? That's cool. She loves that. So the well-deserved reward is, is exactly, you know, bringing yourself into a new place new with yourself, with your the structure where you live, and the home where your heart's going to be. Want to ask another question, John? I'll ask one more. Why not? Um, I love that you're doing this to show you <laughs> to because show she just got the deck and she got it down. And, yeah. You know, so that's really cool. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm trying to just kind of get, like, let you guys just have the simplest meaning so that anybody can, you know, take a look at this and know. I obviously know a little bit more, so I can go into a little and bit And I deeper. kept the same artist as I did with the original deck, Psychic Tarot, because he's so good. And your, your deck um, was one of the most popular decks at Hay House, by the way. Um, uh, besides Doreen's decks, your deck was the next... I think he was one of the biggest sellers at Hay House, so you guys should all know that. Never could have imagined. I could. Uh, never could have imagined yes. that. Yes. So, what's another question mm. that you might like to ask? Yes. I'd love to ask about relationship with family. Okay, great. So and let's take whatever. whatever I see. Okay, Absolutely. so let's take three cards. So we're going to look at John's relationship with his family. Where He's not going to tell me what the question is. So I'm just going to read what I see off the cards and the story that will be revealed when we look at the cards. Um, oh, this is also very interesting. It's a very positive. So take the lead mm -hmm. is the first card. Okay. So, and this is not an indigo border. What color is that? That is, that is maroon. That is the wands, spirit. So spirit, spirit. okay. So um, if it's the three of wands, then this is an activity. It's also a fire card, right? right. So it would be spirit. So this is about optimism yeah, and it's fire. holding fire. So it's a beautiful card. So this is about being optimistic. Right. But you being, because the reach out is there, it's also about borders and boundaries. So it's about setting boundaries and being optimistic Absolutely. that they'll be well received. Yes. Because success and growth, now this is the eight of wands as well, right? right. And we know that, now the interesting thing about the eight of wands, if we're going to look at that in a traditional deck is that it's the traveler's card sure so it makes movement right right that you're moving away from old ways um, ways of being yep. and more structure that works that will be optimistically i would have optimistic results absolutely but without the structure because if this needs structure mm -hmm. right so it, yes yeah so it needs absolutely. structure. absolutely this is about structure that's the architect's card again. Yeah, absolutely. Right? The one you so, had before. There you go. That's it needs right now, structure. and I and I shuffled those cards. Yep. 
And so when a card comes up, I think a number of times or if a card pops out of the deck. I should tell you uh, something. Yes. And someone keeps, some people say to me, John, I keep pulling the same card. And I'm like, well, what aren't you getting? What right. are you supposed to be learning? Right. Right. And I think this is about building because it's the architect's card again. So it's about building. It's not just moving homes. Right. It's about building a new home in your relationship to yep. your family, which is great. It's a beautiful card, too. It's, it's hands with yep. the woman sitting on it, and she's going higher and higher. Mm-hmm. Let's use the other decks to see what if the cards come up the same in another deck. So we're going to use the same kind of deck. Obviously, it's still Psychic Tarot for the heart. And those are shuffled. And those, he also shuffled these, but we're going to do it again. And uh, we're going to see what else can we learn um, and what subject would you like to know about so that we can show everybody who's watching how you can use this. We talked about family, talked about your personal relationships. Yep. I'm so honored she's doing this because... It's like I'm getting the reading. So, <laughs> well, you are. Yeah, absolutely. It's not like. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Um, what should we ask, do? Let's ask um, a lot of people out there. You, you ask yourselves um, about work. Should I stay in this position? Okay. Should I continue at the level that I'm at? Should I kick back a little? So let's, let's ask take... about let's ask um, work. Let's ask about the relationship with my work with right your work. now. So again, is that, is that the correct way? Yes. Yes. See, it's, I know I know the answer, but I want her to let's say. Let's ask about the relationship. What can you tell me about my relationship to my work? And because we're doing three cards, we're looking at an evolving relationship. Right. So it's always evolution with, right. with more than one card. Typically, one card will tell you and reflect where you are now. Sure. And then three cards will show an evolution Shouldn't of progress, right? Okay. Exactly. So um, let's choose three cards. Okay. Hey. He's <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun. And I love how they, they hmm, I'll take that, that. Yeah, what falls to the floor comes to the door. Oh, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing this a long time, too. Okay, so. Ah, very, very interesting. Okay. okay. Um, so these three cards you got, which is interesting because you got the first one, which says, just breathe. Right. So just breathe. Your question was about work. What should I do? Da -da. Right. Just breathe. Yeah. But what's interesting, you have a chakra card in here. So, and why did you pick the chakras to put, add to the deck? I put these uh, seven chakra cards in my first deck, Psychic Tarot also. I put it in there because whatever question you ask, that chakra is, is, is affected by the question. So focus on the heart chakra. Notice it's the heart chakra when I ask about work. Well, and it's interesting too because you said seek the truth. You have to do what you love. Right. So I think what this is asking you to do is to regroup. Right. To really re ask yourself, yeah. what, what do I love doing? Exactly. Is, do I love doing everything I'm doing or do I, what do I really love? Look at that, Beanie just arrived. So we were just talking about your cards and about how... You have to focus on doing what you love right, right now and not just doing for the sake of doing. Right. You're in a position right now to say you've got to breathe, you've developed your career up to now. What is it that you love doing? What do you want to do? Is it a school? Is it a, you know, more touring with your friend Colette? Or is it writing another book or not? You know, what is it that you really feel compelled from the heart to do and professionally? That. And that's why the heart chakra came. Absolutely. And that's, that's exactly what the message is. That's what I think it is anyway. Okay. Beautiful. Will you read me? Sure. Okay. I never get readings. I love it. Okay. So my question is, is I'm just, this is the one I picked. So tell me about my career. What do I need to know about my career moving forward right now? Also. Oh, and then I want to ask about my music okay. after. <laughs> you got the rebuild card, which is the tower card in the traditional tarot. Yep. The throat chakra. Right. And also win or lose. Interesting. Okay, so I, I'm going to interpret this as you're, you are in a rebuilding stage, a rebuilding branding. I mean, I know that about you anyways, rebuilding your brand. Um, but notice the wings. Mm. Don't, the, right away, this card speaks to me. And of course, the, the, you have the lightning, just like in the thunder, mm -hmm. uh, in the um, tower card here too. But this rebuild is a card. It's, um, you, you, you've been through a lot. <laughs> you've been through mm -hmm. a lot. So the tower had to come down, rebuild again. It had to come down, yep. but you got it. Okay? Right. The throat chakra. For me also, um, associated with the throat chakra, you are finally speaking up. You know what? I don't want to do that. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Ah, yes, that's what I want. So you're, right. you're being more. And I'm noticing the turquoise like you have on, I have on, which mm -hmm. is also associated. Yep. So when I read, I don't just look at the traditional meaning and go into the book. I look at all the card. 
you, everything that's coming in here. You have this beautiful symbol in here in the eye, and then win, win or lose, which is the five of swords. Right. Okay, how would you interpret the five of swords? So, um, I feel that there's some loss attached to that, so this sure. is not exactly the most positive, right. uh, but what I'm learning from this is, which is true, I've been, I have felt kind of like, ah, oh, you know, I really want to make something work, and, and right. we have been. We've, we've taken everything apart and rebuilt it, and that's actually in the past six months, so right. actually that's true. Yep. And there have been some disappointments, you know, that we haven't quite made the mark on certain things or whatever. So um, I would actually choose one more card that could give us a little right. bit more inf in information about My that. interpretation to this, is, remember, is it's win, or lose, it's win or lose, beautiful, it has two hands holding the heart. Everything that happened to you, yeah. uh, positive or negative, yep. focus on the, if it's negative, what did you learn from that? Exactly. You, so even though you think, oh, oh well, I, I lost. No, you didn't. You actually won because you'll know how to do it right the next time. Exactly. So, and that's what we're doing now. Exactly. Absolutely. That's so accurate. So let's find out one more card that would give us some more information about that. And this is not Oracle Abuse. <laughs> oh. Base chakra. So we take a second card. Let's find out what else that means. We Base know chakra that to me is, you know, I'm okay with this. Base mm -hmm. chakra to me is... It's all about the base chakra, security. its foundation, its security, its, its house. It's building a foundation. Right, and yep. that's exactly what you're doing. So this, yep. whole, this whole thing that you're working on with your work, I mean, the beautiful projects, you yep. know, the, the, new, the new book, the, the paperback that has come out, it's all about, you know, your, the f physical self, your house, your family. You're basically setting up your foundation, call it, yeah. for the rest of your life. That's a, and that's true. That, as a matter of fact, my husband and I, my gorgeous husband and I, we're just talking about that exact conversation about we want to build a legacy. We're going to take away what doesn't work, the things that we've experimented right. with, and go back to my roots, Yes, which is, of course, the, the intuitive work. You know, it's all about this. It's actually about this work. It's about going back to the oracle work yep. and, and uh, yeah, but get you back see to how my spiritual it, roots. Right. So you, the, this deck, Psychic Tower for the Heart, it's all about matters of the heart, whether it's relationships, yep. relationships with yourself, your partner, your children, your teacher. Ev everyone can benefit from this. Like I said, it's not just for lovers. Okay, it's you got to do one more. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to ask about my music now. Okay. So you, I hope you guys are learning a little uh. bit. Oh, comes to the floor. What what goes to the floor comes to the door. What does it say? It's it's the release card, which is that's death. That's good. That's transformation. That's right. one hundred percent true. Absolutely, and a beautiful card. Letting you go see, of the past. Yep, you see all the lights going up here, and also simply love. Okay, oh. which is a six of cups. Oh, and that's about bringing back the love of my music that I lost from the past. Bringing right. back that love. It's of always music. been there, but it had to be put back on a, on a. Let's do the third card. Let's okay. Let's do a third card. Because you said three. That's right. I did say and three. And those two popped out. I love yep. when cards pop out yep. because they just, I love Woo! it. Woo! Spread your wings. Absolutely. Which is the, it's the, it's the two of wands. Positive for music. Absolutely. I guess you'll hear me singing soon. Yes. Beautiful. I want to thank you for doing this. I mean, it was a great practice working with you and... You know, you're so good with your decks, and you just know the decks back and forth. But one well, you created this deck, and I want to say how great it is that you yet again have a brilliant deck Thank you. that you've brought to people that's different and fresh, and the, the art is beautiful, and the message is really good. Thank you. Easy to use and yes. really important for people to know. Um, but it's also for an advanced reader. They're also, if you want to look at the layers, that they, you know, I can see all the right. deeper layers. Right, for beginners, so middle, good. advanced. Exactly. This is for everybody. This Psychic Tarot for the Heart, John Holland, Psychic Medium. Thank you so much, Colette. And anything you want to know about the cards, guys, you can go to johnholland.com and the app is just as good also. The app is fantastic. Yes. Thanks for coming to Thank my you. house. Thank you. Can I come back? <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Colette. Bye.